Now in this video, we'll continue with the BTP protocol, which we discussed in the previous section. Uh, majorly in this section, we'll focus on the lab, on how to configure and verify the BTP configurations. So for verification, I'm going to have some three switches, switch one, which will be acting as a server, and then uh, and the switch three will be will be configured as a client. And then I'm going to configure a transparent switch. Now the reason for using a transparent switch is for verification. Now practically uh, in the production networks, transparent is not really mandatory for synchronizing the VLAN information. But I want to check uh, how VTP, uh, I, I just want to verify whatever we discussed. So that's the reason I'm, I'm going to have some three different switches with three different, uh, three different modes. So the first thing, the prerequisite for this lab, ensure that you have a trunking configured on the trunk links, the interfaces which are connecting between the switches. So we are going to configure them as a trunk links and then I'm going to configure the BTP by using some of the BTP commands. Uh, I'll come back to the VTP commands and then once we configure VTP, I'm going to create the VLANs on the server. I'm going to create VLAN 10, 20, 30. That's something I'm going to do it here. And I want to ensure that this VLAN should be seen on the client side, which is going to confirm that the server and client are synchronizing the VLAN information. And I should not see them on the transparent because the server and transparent will not synchronize the VLAN information with each other, but the transparent will pass on the information to the client. And after that, we'll be creating some VLANs on the transparent switch, like I'll be creating some VLANs 100, 200 and 300 on the transparent switch and in this case transparent will not give its own information to others nor it will take the information from others so i should not see the vlan 100 200 and 300 on the remaining switches so that's something what i'm expecting so let's verify this vtp so the first thing i'm going to configure the trunk link i i got my topology ready with a similar kind of connections here I got a switch 1 connected via cross cable to switch 2 and switch 3 and I'm using port number 20 connecting between 1 and 2 and port number 21 connecting between 2 and 3. So let's go to the command line of the switch 2 and I'll configure interface range at 0 by 20 to 21. I'm going to say switch port or trunk and calculation dot one q and switch port more trunk. So I configured those two ports as a trunk port. Let's do the same thing on the switch one. Now I expect you to know how to configure the trunks at this point of time. So I'm going to say switch port uh, mode trunk. Okay, I have to give first this command here. Switch port mode trunk. And if I verify on the show interface trunk, you can see F0 by 20 port is configured as a trunk port. Now the same thing I need to do on the switch three. I'm connecting uh, interface F0 by 21, right? Uh, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one two switch port mode trunk. And if I verify show interface trunk, I can see port number 21 is configured as a trunk port. So trunking is a prerequisite for the VTP messages to be sent on or in between the switches. So the next thing we are going to configure some commands on the switches, like here. Uh, there are a few commands. The only command, minimum command, which is required for you to configure VTP is this command. A password is optional, not compulsory. But if you are configuring the password, then it has to be same on all the switches. And the version default runs version 1. Uh, version 2 is a little bit much secure than the version 1. Uh, we'll be getting into that more in details between the different versions, uh, more in detail. And then I'm going to configure the VTP mode. And this particular switch will be server. And I'm going to make this as a transparent or client, any one of the options here. Uh, VTP pruning will be getting into that in the later on sessions more in detail. Okay. And the final verification commands which I'll be using uh, is show VTP status and show, uh, show VTP password. VTP is by default disabled and once you give this command, uh, it will enable the VTP which means uh, by default all the switches will be server but they still synchronize the information. But we can change these switches back to any other mode as per our requirement because all the switches in the server mode is something not really recommended in the production networks.